we go. There we go. All right, y'all. This is Trey. Uh, your boy Trey with Let's Just Talk Mental Health, man. And we are here with Cynthia. Cynthia wanted to hop on. Again, we met on Snapchat. Um, it was just a real cool vibe from the start, from the get go. She she told me she was excited. She saw my content. She was like, you know what, Trey, I want to get on there. I want to get on there and I want to talk about this or that. Uh, some of your groups that I would love to join, this and that. And she just really started to engage with me, man. And I really was just like, you know what? Let's bring you on here, let you get a taste for how it is when we talk about, you know, when we do calls and things like this on Zoom. Second, y'all, we have. All right, here we go. Cynthia, did I lose you? No, I'm here. Can okay. you see me? Yeah, it, it looked like it kicked me out. Yeah, it said, you know, it said you had left. But yeah. I, what I, all I'm saying is that it's like a little hard for me to hear you. Okay. Can you, can you hear me now or is it still hard? It's okay. It, I mean, I can, I can deal. No, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure you can hear me. I want to make sure you can hear me. Can I you... don't know why. Maybe. Let me see. Like... Let me disconnect and try to reconnect my mic. Let me want to say. I mean, I can definitely hear you. It's just low. That's all. I mean, we can make it work. All right, but I want to make sure you can... we we good. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you? It's still kind of low. Oh, it's okay. All right. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right, now. All right, but all right. So again, just starting back off with the aspect of her and just how she hit me up through Snapchat. It was an entire vibe from the get go. I really loved her energy and just her her willingness to get out here and talk, man. So she came out here today. Again, we talk about mental health. So let's talk about it. Let's get on into it, uh, Cynthia. And if you could just kind of first start off with like, where are you from? Like, where were you from and where were you raised? Um, I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska, mm. and I'll tell you a little bit about my family and background. Um, I have one sister and three brothers. Okay. And most, but, but um, most of my family is in Nebraska. Okay. So, um, I love Colorado, and I go back home frequently because it's so close. I just don't like the price tag of Colorado. It's getting really expensive now. Mm. So I'm debating going home. Wow. Um, and then I'd say I'm a single mom of two. Okay. Um, work full time. And I enjoy my job, but I want to start my own business. And I think it's going to start with me working on myself to get there. Mm. That's good. That's good. You told me that when we were talking to Snap. I really appreciate you. you because know. I've seen the struggles and the relationships I have, whether it be with family, friends, professional, whatever. Yeah. I need to do something different. Yeah. Oh, I love Because I'll be struggling. I'll be like ready to cut somebody out. And exactly. I need to control mm -hmm. myself and I control myself for the most part. But obviously, I need to deal with something. That's, That's good. how I feel. That's good. The fact that you even took it to that step of saying, obviously, I need to deal with something. The fact that you took a step back and realized, OK, I'm not all the way happy. I'm not all the mm -hmm. way stress free. I need to make sure right. I change some up because doing the same thing over and over and respecting a different result. It ain't going to happen. It's the definition of insanity. Of insanity. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I love using that phrase. Um, mm -hmm. But I love that about you. So let's talk about mental health. We get into that a little bit. And and that's kind of what we're talking about even here when we're dealing with relationships, other people, they can stress your mental health out. So let's start right. with that first. Let's start with that whole first question. What is mental health to you? Mental health is protecting your peace at all costs, whether that be eliminating family, friends, it, nobody's exempt. Mm. Put you first. Yo, this that's going to be some real good content. I'm already going to take that and just post that. That I love that. I love that. Why is that important, though? So tell me the importance because of that. Why is it I've been in a dark place before. Mm. So when you come out of a depression or whatever you want to call it, whatever the reason you depress or you in your mind, you're mm -hmm. stuck on something. Mm -hmm. And it's all really about perception. Mm. So um, when you come out of that on your own, yeah. You protect that happiness. Mm -hmm. Like there are certain people that when I get around them, there's the potential for it to go left. And I've already got an exit plan. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm wow. just gonna leave. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I and, and and what do you feel like 
what do you feel like happens to people with mental health that don't leave that try to stay in those environments and those those aspects of toxic environments and toxic circles what eventually happens it's a recipe for disaster like what happened last night mm. but i mean it's basically like if people don't um work on themselves and realize where they might struggle at from whatever they've been through and they don't even know they're holding on to that, then mm. they're going to carry that with them. Mm. Mm. That's good. Do you feel like when you come across those type of people, mm. it's 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 your if you see the if you see that they have something that they're probably not dealing with, do you feel like oftentimes that's your responsibility to tell them? Or do you not oftentimes do that? You're just like, I'm going to just let them in. No. Mm. I'll explain why. If anybody in, in my family is on the call, the women in my family have very smart mouths. I'm not addressing it. Because <laughs> we both going to get ignorant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's I her feel. business. That ain't I my feel. business. I'm responsible for me. Mm. and what they say is like life is like nine like 10 percent of what happens to you and 90 percent of how you react oh that's whatever good. that quote is mm. i don't know don't give me the lion <laughs> no but that's good that's good i get what you're saying so in a sense you're protecting your peace by saying right if i know that like let's say it's my friend like mm -hmm. one of my friend friends like my best best friend yeah yeah i'll dress it my sister mm-mm -mm. I ain't going nowhere near it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I love that. You got to know who you're dealing with. Know who you're dealing with. Let's go. My niece, I said something to my niece about my sister. And she said, if you got something to say about my mom, then tell her. I said, I will tell her. And then I'll say, you know what? No, I'm not going to tell her. Because guess what's going to happen? I'm going to tell her. She going to get mad. Mm -hmm. She going to go left. And I'm going to go right, left with her. Then we ain't going to talk for a while. Everybody in the family going to be calling my phone like, that's mm -hmm. your sister. That's your sister. Y'all need to talk. Let a few months go by. We're going to eventually talk. And it's going to be deja vu again. So why would I do tell her again when there's nothing productive to come out of that? True. The only way I'm telling her is if we go into a family therapy session together mm -hmm. where an unbiased third party can tell her about herself. And me, mm -hmm. if they need to, because I can take it. Oh, I love that. I love that. And you, and you just mentioned something real important. I was, I actually wasn't going even going to go here, but I'm going to go here because again, you black, I'm black. And, and we have a community that oftentimes mm -hmm. when it comes to mental health isn't mm -hmm. necessarily always addressed, right? So it's oh, not. Oh, yeah. I said that. Yeah, I say that all the time. And yeah. honestly, I should be, I should have been to a therapist by now. Why haven't you? That we there's a stigma like, oh, that's for other people. No, mm -hmm. it's for us too. It's for us too. Because we probably struggle the most. How many things do we have to deal with every day? And how do we get treated depending on where we are? It's trauma. Mm -hmm. And we don't talk about the stuff that happened when we grew up. But mm -hmm. it's trauma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever it was, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah, I That's... don't know. No, but you, I'm you really excited to go to therapy now. Somebody on um Snapchat mm. was just he sends me messages and he says I'm going to my therapy session. I was and he's a black man and I was like I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said I can't wait to go now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Like, I don't even know what I've been waiting on because I've been new. I had an issue. Mm. You know? Oh. But I was going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I haven't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm I'm smart. Oh, I see it. So I All right, I see eventually, it. I'm going to figure it out. You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and it's okay to get the help to figure it out. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like yeah. sometimes getting that that second set of eyes can be the yeah. thing that you need to get to figure that out, to figure out whatever it is. Yeah. 
that's oh I, I i love where, where you're going with this and then you mentioned there's a stigma so in our community there's a stigma of what how would you describe that stigma people looking at you or looking at looking at us like we're crazy like we're stupid like they're afraid to approach us because they're like man something wrong with that person like what do you how would you describe that stigma what do you mean uh, what I was referring to was therapy. Like, mm-hmm. we think mm-hmm. we don't need it. We think so, it ain't for us. Do you feel like some people feel like if they go to therapy or tell other people within our community, within the Black community specifically? Yeah, uh, that they, why are you going? Like, they, that people mm-hmm. may not be able to relate to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they maybe look different, mm-hmm. look at differently, but mm-hmm. I feel like ain't nobody got to deal with my life or your life but you. Come on. Come on. So why care what they think? Exactly. <laughs> I love if therapy it. is going to improve your life. Why would you allow somebody else to discourage you? Well, yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. And I think also people should think for themselves. See if it's for you. It may not be for you. Everything ain't for everybody like me. Cause I'm a whole vibe. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, like, oh yeah, whole vibe. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna go there. Don't get me the clowning on here. Hey, I'm nah, you good. You good. <laughs> but, but you're right. You're right. Have your own mind. Have your own way of thinking. Right. Like you... even I talked to my mom yesterday because mm-hmm. we crossed on a certain subject. Nice. And I said, "Mom, I'm I'm being respectful, but I'm gonna tell you." Even like now, I have two children. Mm. You're supposed to give your kids choices and let them decide. Not push on them what you want. Mm. And that's where you've been having some issues. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly like, me and my mom, when we talk, it's a meeting of the minds Mm -hmm. every day. So for me and her to clash, is like annoying. Like that's my best friend, you know? Yeah. So... I talk to her every day and my dad every day. Mm-hmm. Almost. If I ain't talk to him in a week, why you ain't call me? You know? Mm-hmm. So that's the same thing that applies to anything in life. Mm-hmm. You're the only one that got to deal with it. Yeah. Unless you got kids or family, it'll affect other people. But at the end of the day, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. Exactly. Exactly. Dude, when it comes to you and your children, do you ever talk to them about mental health? Do you ever talk to them about the importance of it? Yes. Okay. Like nowadays, like even because I'm in Colorado and I think it was a minute ago. I don't know. I honestly should probably watch the news more, but it's so depressing that I stopped. I, I know. Watch, oh. I watch the weather. When people be talking about what's going on, I'll be like, I don't even know. That's bad. I don't even but know. At the end of the day, how is it going to affect me? Right. Like, the only thing I think that truly affects me is being, um, educated or knowledgeable on who we gonna vote for but outside of that when i'm watching news for they people doing news on some stupid stuff or some depressing stuff come on. like it'd be so dumb that why it, is this on come on but you know that's what they do so um basically what i'm gonna say is nowadays it's a lot of little kids that have mental issues and do you want to ask me why i think they do please explain <laughs> Social media. Mm. They're comparing themselves to other kids mm-hmm. or what they don't have and how better someone else is, even as the adults do, even though they try to act like they're unbothered, but you're not. Yeah. You're watching somebody, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But you can act like you're unbothered all day long, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you were unbothered, you wouldn't have to say yeah. you were You wouldn't talk about it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but basically, they want to commit suicide. They're depressed and they're in elementary, mm-hmm. junior high, high school. That don't make sense. I was not depressed when I was a kid. Mm. Wow. I think they have, I, I'm sorry, but unless somebody does something, I feel like there's really not a lot of hope for the little ones. Really? Yeah. What do they have to look forward to? Look mm-hmm. what they see. Look, compare what we had growing up, what they watch on TV and what we watch on TV mm-hmm. when we was kids. 
we watched. Mm, what we watched? We watched. Um, I can't even like, think of anything. With even Disney and all. No, I'm about to tell you, we watched like when we watch little kid stuff, yeah. But like when mm -hmm. we kind of coming up and you're learning, we watched Martin. Martin Cosby yeah. show. What's yeah. the uh a college show we watched? Oh, what's it called? That's so bad I don't know it. It's my it was it wasn't Degrassi, was it? No, no the black one where they were in college and they were doing their thing. Like I know some movies, the wood, all these other <laughs> Google this next. That's I crazy. Throw, I could throw some. Oh, living. Oh, it was living, like a um. Living single. Somebody said living single. On living that. single, close to living single, but that's not it. Okay. What's name Dwayne and the light skinned girl who everybody know. Mm. Dang. Dwayne. What was it called? They was they was a couple and it was around that. It was a comedy, but it showed us in college. Somebody Dang. said. Somebody she said Whitney. Mel said Whitney. What's the name of the show? She said, "What's the name of the show?" I'm, the people are hearing you from live, so they they chiming mm -hmm. in. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no. I don't. I can't. I, I really. But I, I know you said Martin. Right when I get off this call, I'm gonna remember it. The Jamie Foxx <laughs> show. I know. I know. Me too. Yeah, we watched the uh, what's that show they had? Yeah, the Jamie Foxx show, The Hotel. It was on with Living Single a lot of times. I, I know exactly. <laughs> I know, I know what you're talking about. I know about. everybody on it if I see their face, but I really don't know them by name. He had glasses, looked dorky and stuff, you know? know yeah. And Steve, oh, Steve Urkel. Friend. Steve Urkel, we watched Steve, Steve right, Urkel. Right, we watched mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the a family diff A now. different world, a different world. A, a different a world. Different world. That's, That's it. what it was. Yeah, yeah, she got it. I love that show. Yeah, but yeah. Basically, it showed us, us in a positive yeah. light, what in we could light. do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they they don't have that now. They don't have the stuff we had growing up. So what they see, that's you know what I mean. What you're exposed to is what you're going to expect and what you're going to go off of. And like basically, if all you see is us being drug dealers, then you're going to be think you're going to be a drug dealer. I'm just saying. Facts. I don't okay. know. Y'all ask me why y'all put me on this call. No, I just like <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you right. You right. That's why I brought you on because it's yeah. a perspective. So I be in my oh, I, I didn't even get back to what you asked me. Hmm? My son said that he wants another life or something. Like he hates his life one time, and I was like, "What?" He said, "Boy, you a miracle, baby. What you talking about?" Mm. My son was born with a heart condition today. So if they didn't know he had this heart condition before I had him, he would have died within a week of life. Uh oh. So they intervened. He had to have three heart surgeries by the age of four. And he's doing awesome. And they don't even understand why he's doing so awesome. They want to run ahead. Come on. You know? We let him and now we done. We know y'all can't run on my test. We let y'all do that the first couple of years, y'all, y'all good. He don't want to come back here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so you got to speak life into them mm. and tell them what they can do and who should they should be listening to when they come tell you stuff. If you don't listen to them, you listen to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, mm -hmm. all you should care about is what I care about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just because somebody told you that you don't want to be like that person. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, you have to talk to them. Mm. Wow, they. Uh, the I think depression is happening happening earlier. Yeah. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You're yeah. right. You're right. Anxiety, depression. I, I talked to so many different people. Almost everybody I've talked to either is or has gone through it. Yeah. yeah. No, I've been depressed and I still have panic attacks. What yeah. do you do? What do you do when you have panic attacks? How do you? How do you calm down? Uh, I try to hold my breath for a second and then it kind of passes you know, or lay down or something. Mm -hmm. But and I don't even honestly know why they come because at the time, sometimes I don't even be stressed or nothing. They just come. Yeah, they just come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hard, hard to breathe. Stress. Yeah, stress. The mental mm -hmm. is so strong. It's so powerful. It's probably more powerful than the physical. Mm -hmm. Stress to kill you. Stress to kill you. Yes. So what do you think you should do to prevent stress? Mm. 
What do you do? Oh, no. Not uh, no, no, no. You you want you want me to answer that? Yes. All right, no, nah, because this this is a back and forth. This is a back and forth. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, this is back and forth. So I, I got it. I got it. I mean, for me, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a hands down say first and foremost, pray. I pray. I pray. Mm-hmm. I pray. I'm a guy that believes in faith and have faith, and so that's that's the first and foremost. But I will also say to second that, mm-hmm. it's it's who I'm around. It's who I'm mm-hmm. around. It's, it's, it's the people are around. I've created a circle. Even that's why I've done this. Yeah. The groups and all these things you see, this is me only creating my own table. I've created mm-hmm. my own table. I, I couldn't find it, right? I couldn't go out and find find people and find groups of people that were positive. So I said, you know what? I'm going to create my own. So I said, I'm going to create my own mental health group. I'm going to create my own fitness group. I'm gonna create my... I started creating groups. And I was like, all right, mm-hmm. I'm going to create my table. I'm going to create my table and then I'm going to set it. I'm going to set the food. I'm going to set the chairs. I'm going to set the plates. I'm going to set them all out. And that's what I did. I created my own environment of people. Mm-hmm. And you're in the, you're in it now because you're doing this. Yeah. Just, doing this just doing this makes you a part. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and and so you went. So I, now that I know you and we know each other, we now can pour into each other like that. You can always hit me up and I'm I'm here to pour into you. I'm here to, you know, hey. Did you, you see my horoscope? You said again? You read the horoscope? I saw that. I saw what you sent me. I saw, I I saw that. Read I, I read it. it. I read it. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. About the dreams and how you, yeah, you keep pressing even. It was like the last, it was, I read all of it, but the only thing that mattered to me was for your energy. I saw, I saw, I saw. That's yep. the only line. I thought that was the only line. Things, like, it was at the bottom. It was, like, the, it was one of the guess last lines. I thought about doing y'all. So, y'all know, I know y'all don't watch Mary Jane. I'm about to start putting affirmations on my wall. Ooh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just like wherever you look in the morning, whether that be in the bathroom or whatever. I already fixed your mind. You know, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. just thought about doing that. Yeah. If, if you can't I find positive, I... if you can't find positive people around you, mm-hmm. then create create whatever around you. Put them things up on the wall. They become your mm-hmm. people. Read books. Mm-hmm. They become the people around you. I did mm-hmm. all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's where I'm at. So I'm just starting the journey. Let's say. Uh, that's how I feel at least. And look how deep. like to actually see yourself or want to see yourself and be better, you know. So yeah, because you got to be the one that wants to do it. No, your mama, my mama and them, they probably tell me a million times what's wrong with me or whatever I need to do, but you never gonna do what needs to be done until you want to do it. Right. Yeah. Somebody in the in, on the live said Mel said she be slapping sticky notes. Stick figures, friends to the wall real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to start. I'm about to go to Dollar Tree. I know, right? Get you some sticky notes. Cut them things into some stick people. And look, got positivity mm-hmm. over here. We got uh, honesty, uh, freaking happiness, you know, uh, fearlessness on the wall. Like, have everybody and just create these things around you. And people can call you crazy. Let them call you crazy. I don't care what right. you say. I'm creating, mm-hmm. my, I'm creating my, my table. Yeah. Right. This is exactly. This is because I'm, I feel like if you don't do nothing, what you waiting on? You waiting for somebody else to do? What you waiting on? <laughs> what you waiting on? And then, and eventually, never comes. That's the thing. Yeah. Eventually, it never comes, or you mm-hmm. end up, you end up drowning yourself in the same pool that all the other people who are sad and depressed they in because they just want to misery loves company, right? All the people that are sad are the ones that work for 40 hours a week or probably like me, like 60 hours a week. And never, no, that's not what we were meant to do. No, what we meant, no. To build, to help somebody else. Somebody else, come on. Come on. You don't even want to know what I feel like, but I'm going to just keep you pushing. Yo, I already know. I already know. I already know. That's why I'm trying to make this the main thing. I'm trying to make this the main thing. It, I it, feel like a Hebrew. No, I'm just playing. But yeah. You said. We're going to keep it on the up and up. We're going to keep it on the up and up. That one word, y'all shouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but even even though you're not where you want to be yet, you're pushing. You're striving right. every day. You coming on here is an example of that. You, mm-hmm. you, you understand that, right, Cynthia? Like, there's people on this live. That are mm-hmm. listening to Cynthia, and what Cynthia's saying is inspiring people <laughs> on here. I'm for think about it. You are inspiring other people. That's why they listen. That's why they stand on. 
They like, man, what did she, what she just say? Dang, I need I'm to supposed hear. to be the guest. So I haven't watched many, honestly, because I'd be so busy. I just came across it, you know? And I was like, mm, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, but mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you reacted the exact same way I wanted I wanted you to react. When you see it, I want people to go, ooh, I can fit in it. I, I like, mm-hmm. I, I want I want people to react that way. So when you mm-hmm. when you told me, I got excited because that's exactly why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why. Mm-hmm. This okay, okay. We we hitting that we hit we hitting eight forty. So I, I I I'm sorry, I was so unprepared for this. I'm sorry, no. we had to. I'm prepared. Know. This is perfect. This is perfect. You have no idea how much mm-hmm. I'm about to chop up out of this. I, again, typically these calls are a lot sm- um shorter because I got I work out and I have other people that I have to talk to and things like that as well. But I want to. How long have you been on? We've been on here now probably for about a good maybe thirty. 30. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I try to make them around thirty, but again, the group calls are a lot longer. So I want you to come back to the mental health group. Oh yeah, think, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, those are longer, but again, this was the what you said, how you said it. I I feel like even the timing in which we did this. You say you just got done with some stuff. The timing in which we did this, this became an outlet for you to be mm-hmm. able to kind of allow those things. I to, almost didn't want to do it no more, but I said. I, I ain't gonna I, tell you I, what I, I said, but I'm gonna make it happen. I'll just say the positive side. I said one, you know what I mean, but I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> I already know. I already know. I get it. I get it. And but again, I had to show up for you, and I knew that you also was gonna show up and show out, and you did. I mean, just just this 30, within this thirty minutes, you, do you know how much stuff you even said to people that I, I don't. You, well, you need to. I really don't remember. Can I see it back? No, I'm just yeah. playing. No, I'm, I'm gonna upload it to you. I YouTube. like hearing myself. My voice is weird when I hear myself back. Uh, it's that's nice. not how I hear myself in my head. And that's why you need to speak out loud more because <laughs> you got some good stuff to say. The <laughs> only reason I'm still talking is because I don't see them people that's know. on the line right now because I'm, I'm, I'm friendly and I'll talk one on one, but like. You talking about public speaking or something? Mm-mm, I ain't getting nowhere talking to nobody. But, they, but we some, can do this. <laughs> but they just somebody just said you need to do this more. They they in here mm-hmm. they in here right now. I'm just saying this is what this is exactly why I do this. And I've never been on a video thing like this ever. What you what you what, what you have now? <laughs> right today. You have now, and you I'm gonna put this to you every day. Or let's hope. Say it again. I say you learn something new every day. Or let's hope. Exactly. That that I was so comfortable today, like, but it's because I just see that I'm talking to you. That's, but even if I seen them, I mean, we be on what Facebook, Snapchat, mm-hmm. Twitter, TikTok. I can't keep up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. I mean, but again, it's 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 reaching everybody that you can on any platform that you can. That's why I post everywhere because I'm literally mm-hmm. trying to get everybody that I can to see or hear other people's stories and get inspiration from it. That's mm-hmm. all I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I appreciate you. I'm gonna upload this on YouTube just so you Thank know. You. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, oh, that's fine. yeah, I'm gonna send it I'm to you. I'm good with that. I'm photogenic, so you know, upload okay. me. You know what I'm saying? No, I just play. No, nah, nah, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry, because I'm gonna be it's zooming in. Dope. I'm gonna it's be zooming dope. in. <laughs> I'm gonna be zooming in. Get ready, get ready, because you're gonna see yourself. You think you're gonna be zooming in? I'm gonna zoom What's into this. Mean? I'm gonna zoom so, in. Okay, on the yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be all your face is gonna be all over my content. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I love, right. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You gotta come. Thank back. you. Absolutely. It was awesome. It was amazing. And also, let me shout out your socials. So, where can people mm-hmm. find you who are listening on here? Where can people find you on social media? I gotta look. That's funny. Um. Yeah. Hold up. Right. I don't know I could. just, I just log in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. So. So on Facebook, it's just my regular name, which is Cynthia Wilson. Okay. And then um, um, Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Um, Snapchat is Sin City. It's C-Y-N-C-I-T-Y. One, two, one, one. All right. There we go. And I'm going to post everything at the bottom of the description in the YouTube video, too. So for okay. people who are listening, they'll be able to find you as well. But um. I just wanted people, you know, who are listening now, they may want to find you or whatnot. So they'll be able to add you and reach out to you. 
because I think some people really okay. got inspiration from oh, it. Oh, awesome. Hi. Yeah. I'm, that I'm would be awesome. Them. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, at first, like, seriously. I love new friends. When they be like, no new friends, I'll be like, well, you boring. No, I just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like Cynthia, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like Cynthia. Appreciate you, Cynthia. Thank you again yeah. so Hi. much. I'll be bringing you back on, and you already know I'm gonna, <laughs> up in the, I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna text you. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Bye y'all. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. TikTok. All right. Peace.